The Battle Royals are finally going to be released, and it looks like there's a special event just for it. On top of that, guys, we have a ton of other stuff like a leaked emote, more info about Cloud Puff and Razor, and more. All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. How are you guys doing? Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day, because today we have so much to talk about. As already said, Bow Bros, the skins that have been in the files for like a year, look like they're finally going to get released. And on top of that, tons of other leaked stuff, stuff about the next update, stuff about the Razor skin, you know, a grenade launcher type update, wraps, things like that, just so much info. So let's just go ahead and get into it, guys. Hit that subscribe button down below to be kept up to date with Fortnite stuff like this. And also, if you want to help support me, you can do so by using code the Lamaser in the item shop. But without further ado, let's jump into it with the first thing I want to talk about, which is kind of a good lead into um all of the stuff with the rest of the video. And this is basically when the next update is and basically why there wasn't really an update this week. Obviously, we expected there to be an update this week, even if it was small like a content one. I expected there to be like, you know, them release their legendary AR, which is still around the corner. That's coming out soon. But there is a reason for that. So basically, if you take a look at the Save the World, one of the blog posts that they made about Save the World, they had specifically said that it's a light week as Team Homebase takes a few days off to spend time with family and food. And that was posted on the 26th, which as you guys know is Tuesday, which would have probably been when the update went live. So basically it means that they were taking a Thanksgiving break. That's why there wasn't an update this week. It also looks like they're going to be back, you know, on uh, Monday, December 2nd. Since they say a few days, that leads into the weekend, obviously, you know, more than likely that means December 2nd. However, there's something even more interesting about that that has to do with the next update. They say below that part, the time for haunts and spooks is quickly coming to an end. Become the ultimate ghost boss by completing the four Fort Nightmares quest lines as they will be taking their ghastly slumber in the V11.30 patch. I find it very interesting that they say that because this more than likely means that we're getting the V11.30 patch this week, which I would guess to be either December 3rd or December 4th, which is, you know, either Tuesday or Wednesday. That's when I think it would be most likely. It's possible it could be the week after that. But yeah, again, V11.3 is a large update. We've only had two large updates this season so far, so there's bound to be a ton of stuff in it. And we haven't really had a ton since V11.2, so that's what I would be expecting. And since it is a large update, it could contain stuff about this Balbros event that we're going to be talking about, since there is a little bit of stuff about that in the files, which we'll cover here in just a sec later in the video. But again, I'd expect some interesting stuff around that update, and I'll keep you guys covered. So again, remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. But after that then, guys, let's move on to the next thing I want to talk about, which is basically a leaked emote. If you guys remember, in one of my previous videos, we had talked about how there was a wrap that was leaked. We still haven't seen that wrap in-game quite yet. It's probably coming around soon, but that wrap was basically the banner wrap, a wrap that would let you use your banners on your weapons and stuff like that. Very similar to how we've had similar type of skins that you can customize with your banner and the colors you choose. We've even had back blings with that stuff, a pickaxe, and then it was leaked that we were going to get a wrap. Well, this time around, it looks like we're also going to be getting an emote, and it goes by the name of the Banner Flags emote. So this was found by iFireMonkey on Twitter, so thanks to him, but basically what that appears to be is some type of emote where, you know, you grab a flag and put it into the ground, and it displays your banner and colors that you have chosen. At least that's what I would expect it to be. Judging by the name, I mean, that would make the most sense, but at the same time, maybe you're swinging it around. Either way, though, it's 99% sure that that has to do with the banner that you'll choose. So yeah, pretty cool overall. And then after that, guys, let's talk a little bit about some items, and then we'll jump into it with the Bow Bros stuff. But basically, there were some interesting leaks and changes around certain items in the game. So if you remember in one of my previous videos, we talked about how the Snowball Launcher is looking to make a return, and that would likely mean that the Grenade Launcher would have to return as well, or like the normal one would be in the normal modes. What was actually found recently, according to Hypex, that there was an uncommon grenade launcher added, which is very peculiar because we've never ever had an uncommon grenade launcher in the game before. And as a reminder, uncommon is green rarity, so just below blue rarity, there's no gray version of it. But what's even more interesting about that is that that would be in line with how the rocket launcher currently is in game right now. There's four rarities, and it goes from green all the way to legendary, so it looks like we're going to be getting the grenade launcher added into the game very, very soon, according to all of this stuff. On top of that, guys, it also looks like the Fiend Hunter crossbow could maybe make a return in some way. We're not exactly sure how quite yet, but it was also found that apparently the damage for the Fiend Hunter crossbow was changed from 50 to 40 out of the blue. In fact, if you go into creative right now, you can see that it is indeed at 40 damage. However, I think this may have been a change only for creative. I don't remember the Fiend Hunter crossbow being at 50 damage in Battle Royale. I could be wrong. Leave a comment down below, but I don't remember it ever being a two-shot elimination in Battle Royale. 
Royale. I seem to remember it being 40, but I do also seem to remember it being around 50 in creative, but I think that was a while ago. Either way, could mean nothing, but could maybe mean something to do with, you know, one of the future events. But anyways, guys, let's keep it going here and talk about one of the biggest pieces of info that we got recently, and that is something that points towards there very likely being a Bow Bros event. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, don't worry, guys, I'll explain it all right here, but let's start off here with a recap of what the Bow Bros are. So if you didn't know, guys, there's been a skin that comes with a bunch of different styles called Bow Bros, and it has been in the files for like almost a year, somewhere around there. It's been a very long time, and over that time, it hasn't really gotten removed from the files. I don't think it has. It might have gotten removed and then later added back in, but I'm pretty sure it's still in the files right now. And again, like as you can see, here is the skin itself and all of the styles. They're fully modeled, fully designed. So why hasn't Fortnite released these quite yet? It's honestly been quite of a mystery until recently. So according to iFireMonkey on Twitter, he was able to actually find a mesh for something related to a Bow Bros event type LTM. And basically what he found was a mesh added in version 11.20 within the files of an LTM called Barrier. Now Barrier is the code for modes in the past, such as Food Fight. That's right guys, the LTM that was a special event in and of itself, where we got to face off with Burger Boss versus Tomato Head. They had this epic battle in this LTM where we got to defend the bases and go attack the other bases. It was quite a bit of fun. They later even added lava to the mode, which I personally liked. I know some people didn't like it, but I had a lot of fun with it because I could get a lot of eliminations and the battles were like condensed. I don't know, it was a lot of fun, but either way, I'm getting off track. Since this mesh was added into the LTM barrier, it seems to be that we're going to be getting a special version of Food Fight with Bow Bros. Now, from what I saw, there wasn't too much detail to the mesh, but more the fact that it was just there is what's interesting. So I'm expecting it to be something like this. I made this in creative. If you remember, the uh, previous Food Fight bases looked something like this, but they were based around the restaurants of the teams. So having one based off of the Bow Bros, if you remember in Lucky Landing, there was a specific restaurant with like the dumpling on the top. That was basically what this skin was modeled after. So it would make perfect sense that this restaurant would be added into like a food fight event and stuff like that. And as I said earlier, that would make perfect sense because that would give a reason as to why they didn't release this skin and why it's been in the files for so long. They could be waiting to do this special LTM event, which also could mean that we could be getting maybe free challenges and free rewards. I don't think the food fight event had free rewards, correct me if I'm wrong, but this time around could definitely be different and I would actually think it's pretty likely that they could be adding free rewards since pretty much every event has, you know, some sort of thing to go after. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. And again, we're probably going to see stuff about that in version 11.30, which again is coming up soon. But after that thing, guys, let's talk a bit more about Razor. I know we've talked so much about this skin, but it's honestly been, there's been so much info about it. And it's weird that they haven't added it yet to Battle Royale, but they added it into um, Save the World. But also there's a Cloud Puff back bling that I'm pretty sure you can't get in Save the World from what I've been able to see. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can't. And that's interesting because obviously the Cloud Puff back bling is in the game, so why wouldn't you be able to get it? Well, guys, it's pretty interesting. According to Lucas7Yoshi on Twitter, he clears up that they have CIDs and can be used in Battle Royale, which means that they should be coming to Battle Royale soon. And honestly, it's got to be coming to Battle Royale. I've talked about this so much, but it's got to be coming to Battle Royale. Something else that's even interesting about this is that Donald Mustard actually tweeted out about Razor. He quoted a tweet from Battle Breakers itself and said, be advised, Razor is my absolute favorite hero in Battle Breakers. And again, guys, he is the creative director or worldwide creative director at Epic Games for Fortnite and Battle Breakers. And we've seen so much of his tweets, you know, end up in Battle Royale and stuff like that. He's like the main guy behind the story. So if he's saying that he likes this skin, it's got to be coming into Battle Royale, right? So yeah, that's a little bit more info on that stuff. And then after that, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the Autumn Queen's quest. I'm sure you've seen a bit about this, but I wanted to update you guys on like the progress of it. Well, guys, as I'm uploading this video, we are likely already there. As I'm recording this, it's at about, you know, like 2.430 billion. But honestly, as I'm uploading this video, it should probably already be at the 2.5 billion that we need for the event. So we should be able to get this, you know, special wrap. But again, as a reminder of how to get this item, simply play a match during this time. This is going to end on December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you get points by, you know, reviving a teammate, healing an ally with a bandage bazooka, or just playing a match with a friend. So pretty easy overall. And then finally, guys, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick, because this is actually coming up fairly soon, Cyber Monday in Fortnite. If you remember, we talked about how there were strings found in the files relating to like discounts on Black Friday. However, that did not happen, which is definitely pretty weird because there was found specific, you know, strings saying like Black Friday discount or something along those lines. However, there was also stuff around Cyber Monday 
so maybe the deals were instead saved for that day. I don't exactly know. We're going to have to wait and see, but it's still something I wanted to uh, remind you guys of. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more update videos in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, my full guide for the recent dive challenges, and then below that, how to get all of the extra items for Serana. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.